Right. Let's try and get through this last one, Alex. For old time's sake. I know advance have allowed your equipment to fall into disrepair. It's all gone wrong since they took over. Not that the alternative was any better. Those dangerous bloody psychopaths that disrupt. Still, the show must go on. One more time, at least. Quick point before you start. We're still having a few problems with the machinery. Locking buttons, screens flickering on and off, sparks and the like. I'm sure you'll manage without issue. Oh, and don't forget, you've got free reign of the SFX buttons these days. Make the most of it. I'm sorry, no. Okay, no worries. How old are you then, Cole? Okay, here we go, big smiles. I've actually gained a year. I celebrated 44 last year, but it's actually this year. It's brilliant. You're 44. I'm going in five. Four, three. Good evening and welcome Spice to Spice it up with some audience responses, Alex. I'm Megan and I'm joined as always by the inimitable Robin and Patrick. How are we? Well, we have got so much going on tonight. I'm excited. I'd say I'm about a 12, Megan. <laughs> on the excitement scale. Yeah, exactly. We have got so much SoCo stuff coming up. We sure do. We have celebrity chef Jordan Brankley who will be cooking up a store. We'll be announcing the winners of our big competition, Visions of the Future. And we'll be joined by a very special guest for a game of Wheel of Truth. Mm -hmm. And I'll even be showing you how to make your own Leader's Day gifts. We've got all of that and so much more tonight on The Nightly Show. And titles, 37. Live in the Channel 1 buildings in the heart of the capital, it's... Heart of our hearts. We have lived with death and we no longer fear it. There is no price too great for liberty. I can be silenced. But your thoughts cannot. And each day, just like before, we gain hearts and minds. Right, let's have some applause on the way into the next section. Catered by Chef Jordan Rankley. But first, we know you love them, so Robin's going to give us an update on our lovely nightly show pets in Pet Corner. Fine, suit yourself. 
Well, Megan, first up, we have our hamster, Lord Cheeks. Now, he's a squat winter grey with the scientific name Adipem stultus, and he lives here with us in this cage. Hamsters love hoarding, and they actually have special pouches in their cheeks for storing food. He loves carrots, apples, and chewing tobacco. Now, hamsters are nocturnal, so we'll do our best not to wake him up. But let's just see if we can... Oh. <laughs> well, the door has been left open. Um, so, um, it looks as though Lord Chinks has actually gone for a little wander. Uh, but I'm sure he will be around here somewhere. <laughs> In the meantime, let's say hello to our tortoise. Now, after last month's Yule vote, she is now, of course, called Slow Barbara. And don't panic, even though it is December, Babs here doesn't actually hibernate. Let's say hello. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, Babs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Those are our nightly show pets, Megan, both alive and well. Back to you. Don't forget the SFX yeah, buttons. We'll check in on them or some very similar animals at the same time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now then, I hope you're hungry, because if not, you're about to be. Patrick Bannon is with Chef Jordan Rankley, and they're going to be showing us how to knock up a delicious apple pie. Mm -mm. Time to go into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. That's right, and I'm joined here Hi, Chef Jordan Rankley. Welcome to the Nightly Show Kitchen. How does it compare to the kitchens you're used to? I love the colours. It's vibrant. It's fresh. <laughs> it's none of that all the arseholes. Yes? Sorry? What? <laughs> so, uh, you own six restaurants. You've been awarded nine Ballon Massifs across your career. And you've worked alongside the best chefs in the world. Tonight, you've got me. Oh, are you worried? <laughs> Am I really worried? Are you worried? <laughs> Are you fucking worried? Yes. So, uh, what are we making today, Chef? So, we've got a family over for Leader's Day. Yep. They're hungry. We're going to make them a delicious apple pie. Ooh, lovely. It's got sweetness. It's got the acidity of the fruit. Mm. And then you get the richness of that pastry. Incredible. Wow, OK. So, where do we start? So, we've got to start by making our filling. So, we've got about a kilogram of fresh cooking apples here. Mm. Fucking beautiful. And we're going to slice these up perfectly. Yep. And then straight into the pan. Uh, so, uh, your new show, uh, Demon Kitchen Heart Eater, starts on Friday here on Channel One. So, tell us about that. So, teams of young chefs come into my kitchen, and one by one I destroy them emotionally. And if there's time, I teach them some basic knife skills. <laughs> Fuck me, Patrick. What are you doing? What? <laughs> Shit. Is that how you cut? Fuck, you'll lose a fucking finger. Oh, don't worry, I've got spares. <laughs> right, so uh, once we've done that, we uh, set these aside whilst we make the pastry. Yeah? Mm. Yep. Bowl. Oh. Yeah? OK. Sugar, butter. Yep. We mix that together and then a whole egg. Yeah. OK, egg. What are you doing, you fucking donkey? <laughs> Are your brains the size of that fucking egg? Oh, no, chef. No. <laughs> Shit. Right. Mix that with a wooden spoon and work in that flour, OK? Work that into a nice ball of dough, just like that. So, uh, what does the notoriously fierce Jordan Rankley do to unwind? <laughs> Shit, you bed. Yeah. What's that? What is that? Well, it's, it's a bit, bit lumpy. Lumpy? It can fucking pass for a sack of spuds. <laughs> Touch that. Touch it. Oh. Yeah? Pathetic. That goes into chill. Now, we're mixing our filling. OK. Apples, sugar, yes. cinnamon. Mm. Oh, so, uh, oh, you own six restaurants across five territories. Which is your favourite? Are you mixing that or fucking it? What? Are you going to light a candle? Take it out to dinner? Fucking mix it for fuck's sake. Right, now we're rolling out two thirds of our pastry. Oh God. Um, Bit of flour into the dish. Uh, and uh, the filling goes next, right? Absolutely right. Oh, Lovely. Okay. Then we're taking the remaining pastry 
Rolling that into a round, and that goes on the top. Beautiful. Mm. Lovely. Okay. What right. is this? Wash a bit of water around the rim. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Now press gently all the way around. And we're cutting five slashes very carefully with steam. <laughs> and then brushing the whole thing with a beaten egg. Lovely. Okay. Egg. <laughs> Oh my god. You, you, come here. Come here, you. That's a disgrace. I'd rather jam my eyeballs up my fucking arse <laughs> than look at that. I'd rather use my tongue to tie my shoes after a fucking shit kicking contest. Do you understand? <laughs> then it goes in the oven for 45 minutes. Oh, put your fucking head in the oven while you're at it. Useless. <laughs> you, come here, you. You're the worst fucking thing to happen to food since cyanide. Do you know that? I tell you what. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. Yes, OK, well, while I do that, <laughs> let's go now to Megan and Robin, who will be announcing the winners of our competition, Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Well, that looks delicious. <laughs> if you want to follow along at home, then make sure you write in with a stamped address envelope and we'll send you the fact sheet. So, Robin, look at all these amazing entries to the Vision of the Future competition. Yes, we challenged you to show us your predictions of the future and we were just inundated with entries, weren't we, Megan? From wacky inventions to global problem solving, they are all amazing and we had the best time looking through each one. It was so tough narrowing it all down, so we had some amazing runners up. In third place, drum roll please, <laughs> we have Hamish, who's three, from Lunwelly. <laughs> he calls this still life and the future of God, and it really blew us away. Just look at the line work here, and I can really feel every passionate stroke of the brush. Mm. If you look here, you'll see a beautifully rendered, what I thought at first was a smiley face, or perhaps a cat. But I think if you really look, you'll see it's actually a representation of the seeming futility of death through the eyes of the living. Indeed. He's also chosen to just leave a lot of it behind, mm. which I think is really interesting. If you know Hamish and his work, of course, he, he loves focusing on the negative space mm. rather than the image itself. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And such talent from one so young, Megan. But next up, we have our second place entry. So in second, drum roll, please. We have Keith, 41, from Dunglees. Yeah, Keith, we were sort of aiming this towards our younger viewers, but still, he has sent in his idea of the future, which he's calling Ravaged Earth. Indeed, he says, in his really rather detailed notes, um, deprived of basic resources, society will resort to a brutal system of weekly battles to the death where only the victor may breathe. <laughs> he also says the problem here, either that or about the same, but maybe a bit worse. I really love his attention to detail. You can see the sort of gladiatorial arena, and then what I can only assume is Keith himself pulling off this chap's head and shouting, um, come back to me, Linda. <laughs> oh, Keith, maybe if you spent more time outdoors and less time entering children's competitions, she might not have left. <laughs> Special one there. And yeah. finally, of course, it's time to reveal our winner. All our runners-up will receive a day out at an inflatable happy land on an industrial estate just off the A40. Sorry about that, Keith. <laughs> but our lucky winner will win the chance to spend the day at the Department of Change to see how our teammates are actually making the new future a reality every day. And the winner is... Oh, drum roll, please. <laughs> Smugly, oh we my. absolutely love your picture here. People's Parade. <laughs> You've got folks walking together, just really celebrating the diversity of our society. You've got people with all different flags, people celebrating their religion and their bodies. And there's even a game of sports born happening over here. That or some overzealous littering. It's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, look at these robots having a little bit of a dance, oh. getting involved in the party. Can't they? This one a bit haywire <laughs> in what I can only assume is an ominous sign of things to come.
lovely Lola. Well, if our winners have inspired you to make some artwork of your own, do keep sending them in, and yours could be displayed in our gallery here. Well done again to everyone who took part. We're going to take a break now, but when we come back, we'll be playing the Wheel of Truth yeah. and making some lovely homemade gifts. Right. From what I can tell, the machine's getting a bit worse for wear there, Alex. I expect your kid will be going downhill a bit more in this next segment, so be careful. Don't take any unnecessary risks. To be honest, I handed in my notice this morning. So long as it finishes, the rest doesn't really matter anymore. I'll get cards arranged for you both. Find me when you're done and I'll take you out through the unloading bay. Hmm. Ooh. A plus. Pleated skater skirt in dark blue with white sweetheart blouse and the necklace Harry had given me when we'd met in the woods and I'd allowed him to frolic in my glaze. It's an honest account of my childhood because in the new future, there's no need for secrets. There was just so much injustice in the world, I realized as Portia Hamilton Mann lured my best friend into the convertible her daddy had bought her for Easter. How had I failed to predict the perils of being the poorest postgrad at Poshborough? Over the course of three it's compact discs or we'll just 22 cassette tapes, you can experience a childhood under the old regime and, like me, understand why we can never go back. Oh, the horror. Jenny. Fifteen minutes before the most important speech of my career and I had stained my high-cut lazy trousers. Waves of nervous nausea seized me, like Harry did on that night when I let him touch me in the thicket. I thought I may cry, but fate intervened in the form of a dashing, young, up-and-coming television presenter named Peter Clement. Reaction would be nice, Alex. Oh, sorry, we were just saying we can't wait to taste Patrick's pie. Oh, I don't know. I think I could wait. <laughs> well, here it is. Fresh out the oven. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, it does look amazing. Jordan, how does our Patrick do? Well, let's just say that pie's got more crust than my grandmother's arsehole. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Well, come on, try it. Dig in. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Go and get ready for that next feature. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Every night we play a game of Wheel of Truth with our celebrity guests. But I know what you're thinking. Uh, Megan, we've only got one celeb guest. <laughs> well observed, viewers, well observed. Well then, I'd better bring her out. Should I? The surprise guest? What do you think? Here she is, best selling author, lawyer, and thinker. I mean, she's only the Bloomin' Ting leader. <laughs> it's Julia Salisbury! Prime Minister Julia Salisbury! Oh, welcome, Julia! Darling, it's so good to see you. Oh, Megan, you look incredible! Oh, stop it. I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> now, don't get too comfortable. It's time to head over to Robin and Patrick as we play Wheel of Truth. Has the audience gone to sleep? Remember the S effect buttons. That's right, it's that part of the show where we pit our celebs against each other to see if we can break them. That's right, Robin. They're going to spin the wheel to pick around, and it could be anything from box of flies to slap my face. <laughs> they really have no idea what's in store. So, up first, we have Jordan. Oh. Let's give it a spin. Yeah, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Okay, it's oh. fact or fib. Fact or fib. Jordan, is it true that you've been known to order takeaway for a dinner party <laughs> and pass it off as your own cooking? Fuck. <laughs> one fucking time. <laughs> one time. Well, I think if that pie was anything to go by, you did them a favour. Oh, oh. not so fast there, Julia. Fact or fib. Fact or fib. We heard you've got a very interesting 
interesting way of saving time during the laundry. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, why don't you tell us about it? <laughs> you absolutely no, no. I can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, we're just, so don't judge me. Okay, <laughs> what I do is. I'm, <laughs> lose my job over this. Oh, we're all friends here. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, so, I only have one bra, okay? And so, uh, one day a week, I wash it. Oh. <laughs> and on that day... <laughs> My taxes, we're clearly not paying you enough. Come to my dressing room after the show, we'll sort you out. Oh, oh, why are you blushing, Patrick? Is all this talk of bras embarrassing you? Blushing? I mean, I'm not blushing. blushing. Oh, 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 come on then, you, Julia, spin the bloody wheel. Let's do it. And you simply have to get yes, that face. Yes. Okay, you're ready. Here we go. Julia. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> Is that you? Yes. Oh. Look, look, it was a very difficult time fashion wise. Oh, that hairdo is fucking hilarious. <laughs> No, no, don't. I think it's sweet. <laughs> yes. And well, it is as popular now as it's ever been. Oh, well, don't get too ahead of yourself there. Oh. Jordan, oh. who oh. is this? Does that look familiar at all? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I was getting fashion advice from someone who managed oh. to make seven look like 85. Oh. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Where did you find that monstrosity? I look like I'm haunting the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. We've got to move on. Jordan, let's have another spin. Here we go. Oh, it's my go, Dad. You go, go on. So I'm so keen. Well, you're in for a treat, yeah? It's fat uh, or fish. Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, if you look under your podiums, you will find a lovely fish smoothie. Oh, <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you both a question, and all you have to do is answer it honestly, or else you'll have to drink the smoothie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay? Okay. Are you ready for the question? Yes. yes. Here we go. Which of your esteemed hosts <laughs> is the more talented one? Fishy. <laughs> I need my fucking mouth. Do you know how much these taste buds are worth? Well, well we've got time for one more Just quick one more. spin, so go, Julia, go! <laughs> Today, I'm going to be ably assisted by Julia. Come on over here. 
Goodness me, I don't know how you're keeping your dinner down. I can still smell that fish. <laughs> well, to be honest, I've had worse. I used to be to Peter Clement's house. Oh, well, I hope you've got your artsy hat on because today we're going to be making something very close to my heart. It's our little studio. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? Oh, all of us there on the sofa. Wow. That's gorgeous. Oh, is that all you in there? Yeah, it is. If we can just get a little zoom in. There we are. Oh, I don't know about you, Julia, but I always leave my holiday shopping to the last minute. Oh, every year. I do it every year. Well, luckily, these make amazing gifts. Shall we get cracking? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> We're going to start with a shoe box Lovely. here. And Julia, that's it, grab those scissors. I just wanted to get rid of this front panel here. Perfect, <laughs> we'll do. Are you big celebrators in your house, Julia? Oh, yes, yeah. no, in my house we show our love through food, like big dinners, loads of drinks. Absolutely right. That's the best bit about any holiday, it's all that food. This bit as well. Absolutely right, cutting along the line there. Do be careful with the scissors at home, make sure you're being supervised <laughs> if tough. you are a child. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, fabulous. There we go. Okay, so it's going to look a little something like this, and I've got one here I made earlier. We painted it with a bit of poster paint, white to match our lovely curtains here in the studio, but you can obviously have whichever backdrop you like. Like a nice shiny gold number. Well, exactly right. So we're going to make bits of our set now to put in the studio, perhaps a little desk. So I'm just going to grab this piece of card. I've just got it from a little cereal box packet. I think you... Oh, I'll give you this one, Julia. Oh, Shall thank I? you there so you much. Go. <laughs> and all you need to do is cut along the lovely. lines there. Fabulous. So what's the best part of any Leader's Day dinner, do you reckon? Oh, uh, I don't even have to think about it. Really? I love the three <laughs> potato pie. Three potato pie? I don't know that one. <laughs> you know, with the chips covered in the mash or wrapped up in a jacket potato. That just means it does that. <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds starchy. <laughs> well done, Julia. So now she's folding over a little bit there. What it's going to look like at the end is this little rectangular shape there. We're going to pop it in the middle, a bit of sticky tape on the back there so it sticks down. Now we need a sofa, that's what we need next. We're going to make that out of a lovely paper cup. <laughs> Knock knocking down there. Over. Knocking it all over. <laughs> I've got one though, Megan. Good. Fantastic. You're just going to cut along lovely. the line here, down the middle. Exactly right. And then when you've done that, around the bottom and again around the top. Well done. When you're done, <laughs> oh, there we go. It's going to look a little something like this. And look what I've done there. I've stuck some felt down. Nice and comfortable sofas. <laughs> yes, can't have our tiny Megan having an uncomfortable sofa, can well, we? Absolutely not. <laughs> She'll be on the phone to her tiny agent and getting someone tiny fired. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only one thing missing, isn't there, Julia? What is that? Oh, a higher calibre of guests. Nearly. It's people. <laughs> so all we've done to make our little people is we've stuck a cocktail stick into a bottle cap. We just need a face for that now. Uh, I've got a good one here. I know it well. <laughs> it's me. Lovely. I'm going to stick it down there. A little bit of sticky tape. Oh, my felt's going everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm a bit lonely. Let's take Robin and Patrick over. Do, 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 do. Sitting down on the couch over there. There you go. And, and well, well, I'll make myself just comfortable just just there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and these, of Lovely. course, are all made and cut out of our favourite newspapers or magazines. So you can have any guests you like. Julia, is there anyone else you'd like oh. in the studio? Oh, yes. Well, well, on, I'm going to be playing Wheel of Truth with yeah. Ronnie from Heat Trash. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, put that away. Yeah. Um, yes, he's going to be teaching me choreography and I'll be teaching him foreign policy. Mm. And of course, you can decorate them however you want. Perhaps you're a bit, I don't know, nostalgic for the old look of our studio. We've got the blue studio down there. Or even a bit of retro red. <laughs> I've got Sheila Quickstep being interviewed there by... Oh, um... Sorry, that's, that's not supposed to be... Oh, well, we're all out of time, I'm afraid, Megan. It's time for a break. When we come back, I'll be on the couch of chat talking to some of you. And I just cannot wait. OK, before we suffer through the last... What's that? Seems to be a little kerfuffle in the corridor. One moment. I don't know. I, uh, I guess I just blanked. Oh, at least one of us is in control. <laughs> you do remember. You're coming with me. Should we be worried? We've got the Prime Minister here. It's good that she's here. She's the reason for the extra security. Are we going to need her? Possibly. 
They're back. It's not very reassuring. I know. Good thing I'm not your mum, right? Snap brings bitter winds overnight, so not all sunshine and rainbows. No rainbows in sight over territories three and four, as a category two storm warning means we advise our residents to spend their leaders weekend indoors. Though we're sure the happy parents of the 12 new children in territory three will be thanking their lucky stars for an excuse to stay home. Though, of course, nothing to do with stars. More of a hot air, cold air thing. Next, this front of warm smiles heads across Territory 5, who are still under a blanket of it's snow. It's bad, Mum. Not like Surely there'll be celebratory snowmen there tonight. And as they the also hit an impressive time. fertility peak of 23 new arrivals. And finally, an honourable mention to our team members of T7, with a stunning result showing 146 births and clear blue skies. Though be sure to grit your driveways as we will hit freezing Into temperatures Germany. And that's all for your daily forecast tonight. As always, hmm. we'll be bringing you a more specific rundown of the numbers in your area later this evening as you join your regional news team in your territory. I'm Dahlia Flywell, wishing you and all our precious little team members a good night. Good night. Welcome back to the nightly... Minister on the couch of chat. Prime Minister, it's great to still have you with us. Thanks, Megan. Although maybe now's the right time to tell you that you're going to be seeing an awful lot more of me. Oh, my bad. Well, I am delighted to announce that starting next week, I will be the new... Miss Salisbury, could you get ready to accompany me, please? Please remain in place, ma'am. It won't take a moment. Sit rep. Um, well, uh, we do apologise to our viewers at home for this unexpected interruption. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Right, <laughs> understood. Everyone, please remain calm. How can I help? Can you clear everyone out of that area? Everyone. Okay, everyone, if we could just clear away from these studio doors. Yeah, that's right, just behind the cameras, please. Do those doors lock? Is that Colin with the headphones on? Hey, mate, can you lock the doors? Can you not hear me? Colin! Colin! He can't hear us. I'll do it. No, miss, too late. I'm not in force with loading weapons on! <laughs> you two stay at the door, lock it tight, oh, and don't let anyone in. Yes, sir. Now, now listen, there's, but there's no need for anyone Sit to back, Dan! Pulse, whatever you say. Are we still alive? Yes, yes, we're alive. Good. It's time for some real news. You, mic me up. Is it working? I just need to check. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Good. Over there, on your knees. Now. You, next to him. Move! You okay, Colin? Shitty birthday. Not the worst one I've had, though. Let them go, Mr. James. It's me you want. Don't flatter yourself. You're not the target here. You're just a bonus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is it, is it me? We're not here to take out a person. <laughs> We're cancelling the whole fucking show. Which camera? Any camera. All of them. I know you're watching this. In your vans. Planning your counterattack. But please, try and control yourselves. Or, well, I'm sure you know the rest. Alan, we can talk about this. Oh, we will. I have a lot of questions. There's no need for anyone to get hurt. <laughs> Where was that attitude during the uprising? You know, the night your thugs killed my friends. There are innocent people here. Says the woman who killed 14 million of them. No, I don't feel any great need to answer to you. In fact, get over here. I don't take orders. Come don't... here! You <coughs> leave when I tell you to. <coughs> 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 Give me that. Alan, don't do it. You're not an executioner. What am I then, eh? You tell me, Megan Wolf. What the fuck am I? Just a man who's just waiting over his head. Don't patronize me, you smug bitch. I'm not one of your little helpers. Get over here. Kneel beside her. You're just as fucking guilty as she is. Guilty of what, you fucking psychopath? All of it! She sat there, smiling, and let it all happen. Jeremy Donaldson died for this program. And she let it become this. 
Oh yeah, Jeremy. Bread and fucking circuses. Don't you say his name? I beg your pardon. I said, don't you say his name. You don't get to do that. You're angry at the wrong person, love. She's the one that killed him. The first victim of her benevolent slaughter. Not the last, though. All I am hearing is crazy. Well, maybe you should hear it from the source. Confess. Confess. Sorry. Have it your own way. Stop! For God's sake, stop! Answer my questions. Or she dies next. Yeah? Then who? Tell him what he wants to hear. Ask your question. Better. First question. How did you actually think this was all going to end? In a better world. Bullshit. It's the truth! Uh, um... When we came into power, everything was broken. The, the system worked for so few that there was hunger and, and poverty and, and real pain. But you never saw that, Mr. James, because you were doing just fine, thank you very much. And my side, we were too weak, too meek. It was all good intentions and second chances and, and, and playing by the rules. Well, do you know where playing fair gets the people at the bottom? Because in Fucking nowhere. Someone had to be prepared to, to actually fight, to, to do what was required. So I did it. Because no one else was going to. 14 million people. To save the 60 million here? What would you have done? Let us all starve to death. You should have found another way. There was no other way. Is that how Peter Clement saw it? Peter was weak. I loved him more than I have ever loved anyone, but he was soft. He wouldn't have allowed it to happen. And afterwards, he couldn't sleep. It haunted him. I think it would have killed him in the end anyway. But that's on me, Mr. James. What's on you? We're not discussing me. Didn't you hear? Disrupt died on the night of the uprising. Then how have we been watching you for months? Watching me? You're not the only one who knows how to get people on the inside. We, we knew you'd pop your grubby little head up again, and, and we've been collecting information just in case you did. There's a recording of a meeting of the so-called Disrupt Leadership, and tiny hidden cameras, very high-tech. Perhaps the public should see what your bosses are talking about when there's no one else around. We have people at the network jamming your signals, messing with your broadcast room. We'll stop you. We have people too, and they've been doing this an awfully long time. Prepare the footage on screen four. I guess it's up to the broadcast room. You in there? If you play that footage, she dies. Play it. Play the tape. I've seen it. It's important. It's gonna blow us up anyway, so just play the fucking tape. Get the console. Don't let them play that tape. We take those screens. Star's Levy grand recently. What the remains of it. You know, smoke still rises from some of the wreckage. Apparently, it's too dangerous to send in men to put out the fires. We have all lost that to which we were attached. Five years, General, and still it burns. That is why this cannot be allowed to happen again. Then we are all agreed that once your malice returns, we will proceed in a process of sanitization, Spycard. My estimates suggest that we will need to expunge at least 45,000 in each territory, mm. and if we are to be certain, many hundreds of thousands more. There will be seasonal variations, of course, but the numbers will remain surprisingly consistent. It will be an industrial procedure. We will need facilities. Undoubtedly. You know, my, my people can deal with that. They're experienced in clandestine construction under challenging conditions. They will have the order, General. The intellectuals, the radicals, oh, yes. free thinkers, anyone who does not understand and accept the natural order of existence. Mm. Of course, Jacob. 
There can be no fertile ground left for these ideals to take root again. Here we resist this. We should also consider relatives and close friends. They will no doubt have been exposed to dangerous ideologies anyway. That could be millions of people. Yes, but we can manage it. I mean, once the processing is up and running, we can streamline it. You're certain you can manage these numbers, sir? Oh, yes, by count, possibly more. And then there's the transition centres. They can be easily repurposed. Well, then, this is marvellous. Marvellous, gentlemen. Uh, there is one other matter to discuss. Our colourful spokesman. Ah, Mr James. He's useful, for now. His appearance works well for us with the common class. But he'll have to go too, him and all his type. Oh, yes. And that I think we can all agree. Let him dance today for the masses who clap and cheer, and then later <laughs> we cut his strings. <laughs> Obviously. The face of the future looks nothing like Mr James. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I remember when we had troublesome cadets in a unit. We used to send them on a doomed mission. Gave their relatives something to be proud of, uh, an honourable death of a loved one. Stopped them asking some troublesome questions. An excellent solution. Mr. James is full of passion. Let him consume himself with it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we turn to the matter of a new curriculum? Oh, yes. Bad choice, Alex. Kill her. No, wait. Better yet. This is on you. <laughs> songbird down. Repeat, songbird down. Everybody, stop. Lower your weapons. Think about this, Mr. James. No one else needs to die today. I agree. In four minutes' time, a helicopter is going to land on the roof of this building. I will be making my way up there and boarding that helicopter. And then I'll be on my way. And as you so observantly pointed out, no one else will need to die here today. I imagine you'll be joining me on the roof. You know I can't let you leave this room. Alan Stephen James, you are formally requested for dialogue. Under Section 12 of the Mental Health and Antisocial Activity Act, if you refuse to collaborate, I am clinically empowered to intervene. Anything you say can and will be used in efforts towards your betterment. You're arresting me. Do you not see this? A palliative advisor will be made available to you at no cost. Oh, Do you, you understand these advantages as I have expressed them to you? You must be fucking kidding me! The patient has refused to engage. You have no power here! If I take my thumb off this trigger... The patient is a clear and present danger. <laughs> I don't understand. Centigrade received. Target neutralized. Headquarters, I can confirm intelligence. The device was sabotaged by person or persons unknown. Four civilian casualties present, including Songbird. Is anyone else injured? All other hostages traumatized, but otherwise unharmed. Why are these lights on? We're broadcasting your life. Control any transmission stopped immediately. What? No, 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 you can't just cut the signal. You, we have to say something. We can't just leave them. We have to say something. I think everyone's seen more than enough. God smiles like a million instas Breaking the heart of widows and spinsters Smashing it up on everyone's tinders And they wanna kill you mm. They're laughing so love the party Never too smart, never too tardy Sparkling wit and a laugh so hearty they want to kill you for being human. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the stories. Okay, I will see it. What's this? <laughs> they got a cool with the 
lights at conference, beautiful words to disguise their nonsense, pulling the smiles of the Tory conference, and they want to kill you, scribbling lies in the manifesto, don't give a shit cause you won't protest, so dazzled and dazed by the posh hey presto, and they want to kill you for being human. Hmm. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't. I liked the other ones. Are this we... is Megan Wolf broadcasting across the frequencies. Mm. Clashes worsened today as violence between the North Capital Commune and the Riverside Camp raged into the night yet again. The power has been out in most of the city for over three weeks at this time. I'd caution anyone who is still receiving this broadcast to avoid Trawler Street, where a violent group have taken over the former CCO headquarters and are said to be extremely hostile to outsiders. Meanwhile, the refugee encampments surrounding the ports have steadily grown in size as the ongoing fuel shortage continues to prevent ships from departing. We've also received word that the Borden clan of former East Grinchley are particularly active at night, raiding smaller settlements, so try to avoid that area if you can. Hmm? Chaos. What? How? Oh, it's the tapes. Oh, I have to like re replay them. Oh, because I, I use only one. Everything else was different. Oh, okay, like that. Good evening, I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines... Peloton. Nah, I don't do that. I already finished that. It was okay, it was okay. I like the music videos, they were fun. Archive, uh, not broadcast. That works. Hmm. Okay, anyways, um, see you somewhere else next time. So, bye-bye.